A blessed Maundy Thursday to all of you in this holy week of the year of our Lord 2020. Uh, this is a brief video devotion for Maundy Thursday, in particular a contemplation of the significance of Holy Communion or the Lord's Supper for us as Christians. Uh, my assistant for this devotion is my wife Hillary. Say hi. Hi. The word Maundy that we use for uh, this day, for Maundy Thursday, the word Maundy means mandate or commandment. And it refers to the love commandment of Jesus Christ our Lord. Consequently, the Maundy Thursday worship service centers on two significant things. First, the church hears Jesus' command to love one another as he has loved us, sometimes illustrated by a ritual foot washing. Second, we celebrate the meal of eternal deliverance taking our place at the Holy Supper that Jesus shared with his disciples on the night in which he was betrayed. We'll now begin with the prayers of the church for this day. On this Maundy Thursday, let us pray for the church, the world, and all who await the Lord's great and abundant mercy. By the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Christ, Lord God, we pray that you will mend the brokenness of your church. Where there is division, grant healing. Where there is fracture, grant unity. Where there is indifference, grant passion. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. By the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Christ, Mend the brokenness of the creation. Put an end to destruction and renew our commitment to the fullness of life you intend. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. By the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Christ, mend the brokenness of the human family. Bring understanding and a spirit of cooperation to nations and communities in conflict. Dissolve distrust into understanding and transform disregard into profound care for one another. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. By the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Christ, mend the brokenness within us. Cast out all fear of separation from you and join us to the communion of saints who celebrate at your eternal banquet table. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Into the arms of your tender embrace, O God, we commend ourselves and all for whom we pray, trusting in the one who on the cross opened his arms to all. Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior, Jesus Christ, whose suffering and death gave salvation to all. You gather your people around the tree of the cross, transforming death into life. And so with all the choirs of angels, with the church on earth and the hosts of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord, Lord God of power and might, 
Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. I now invite everyone to please Listen to the following contemplation on the Lord's Supper. The Lord's Supper is known by various names. It is known as Holy Communion, which means sacred fellowship. And it is also known as Eucharist, meaning thanksgiving. So the Lord's Supper is a meal of thanksgiving to the Lord and a meal of sacred fellowship with the Lord. And within the Lutheran branch of Christianity, the Lord's Supper is most often referred to as Holy Communion. Holy Communion is the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ given to us in bread and wine, instituted by Christ himself at his last supper on the night of his betrayal. In, with, and through the Holy Communion meal, our Lord and Savior is truly and substantially present to us and for us. While God is always present everywhere, God promises to be especially, uniquely, and powerfully present in the Eucharistic elements of bread and wine, according to our Lord Jesus Christ's sacramental words of promise. This is similar to how gravity is everywhere present, but it is especially concentrated around massive celestial bodies such as planets and stars. So likewise, God is ever present absolutely everywhere, but God is especially concentrated around and through the blessed sacrament of Holy Communion. Consequently, when a duly ordained and installed pastor proclaims the sacramental words of Christ in connection with the elements of bread and wine, then these simple earthly elements become for us the powerful and glorious presence of Christ Jesus himself, which we receive with open hearts and an attitude of reverence and trust. And we return to this blessed sacrament of Christ over and over again for the sake of strengthening us in our Christian faith and spiritual life. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you his peace. Everyone take care. <laughs>